Lincoln Park Zoo is just past the conservatory. It's one of America's oldest public zoos, and it's also one of the only free zoos left in the country. The zoo got a modest start in 1868 when New York's Central Park donated a pair of mute swans. They were put in South Pond, which became known as Swan Lake. Later, people-powered swans joined the flock. Next came a bear cub, purchased for $10. During the Great Depression, the zoo adopted animals from circuses that could no longer care for them. Many zoo buildings are miniature masterpieces of architecture. Some were designed by Prairie School architect Dwight Perkins. This zoo building housed Chicago's first aquarium. It's now a cafeteria for zoo visitors. Dwight Perkins' most magnificent building here is for people, not animals. It's Cafe Brower from 1908. It has a superb prairie-style exterior and an arts and crafts style great hall on the second floor. The irresistible meerkats are part of the Regenstein African journey that takes you through a variety of naturalistic African environments to see some of the world's rarest creatures. And the African apes got a new $26 million home in 2004. The chimpanzees and endangered gorillas rotate between three different enclosures to keep life interesting. 